Although we know that fruits and vegetables are good for us, many people with diabetes are often told that they can't eat certain fruits because they contain sugar. Yes, fruits contain natural sugar, but they also contain essential vitamins, minerals and fiber, which are all good for us. Eating fruits and vegetables is associated with reducing risk of many health conditions like high blood pressure, strokes, heart diseases, obesity and certain cancers. Because many people with diabetes are more likely to be affected by these health conditions, it is even important to eat more fruits and vegetables if you have diabetes. Fruits and vegetables also contain a good mix of soluble and insoluble fiber, which is good for our bowels and our general health. So it makes sense to eat more fruits and vegetables if you have diabetes. Managing diabetes has to do with managing your blood glucose levels, your blood fat, blood pressure, and your weight. And fruits and vegetables can play a positive role in all of these. Many people think that because fruits contain sugar, it will affect your blood glucose levels. But in fact, fruits are low to medium glycemic index, which means that they don't affect your blood glucose levels as sharply as certain carbohydrate containing foods like white bread and wholemeal bread. The issue about fruit has to do with portion. So let's look at this in more details. A portion of fruit contain about 15 to 20 grams of carbohydrates, which is roughly about the same as a slice of bread. To put this in perspective, a can of cola drink contains about 35 grams of carbohydrates, which is the same as about a medium slice of chocolate cake. So if you are looking to reduce your carb intake, with a view to managing your blood glucose levels, then my advice would be to reduce your intake of foods like your fizzy drinks, your cakes, chocolates, and biscuits, because these contain added sugar. When you have done that, then you can begin to look at your intake of starchy foods. And I would advise that you start reducing those that are highly processed and contain added sugar, fat, and salt. For most people, you, there will not be any need to reduce your intake of fruit because there's a tendency for us to overestimate our intake of foods that are perceived to be healthy. So my advice would be to keep a food diary to check how much fruits and vegetables you're eating in a day. Fruit juices can be very high in natural sugar and compared to the actual fruit, they don't contain as much fiber, so they are not as beneficial. Also, you can get through a lot of fruit juice within a relatively short period of time compared to eating the whole fruit. This can end up with you loading up with a lot of carbs and depending on how your diabetes is treated, your blood glucose levels may rise. That is why you're better off eating the actual fruit and avoiding the juice. If you have to drink fruit juice, then my advice would be to limit it to a maximum of one small glass a day. And I cannot emphasize that enough. Limit it to one small glass a day. Because if you drink too much, then your blood glucose levels will rise and it can also affect your weight in the long term. Many people tend to drink juice with their meals, but my advice would be that if you do that, then look at the carbohydrate content of the meal. For example, if you usually have a couple of slices of bread for your breakfast, on the day that you decide to have a small glass of juice, you may consider sacrificing one slice of bread to make room for the juice. I'm not saying you do this every day, but that's an option to ensure that you don't end up with a lot of carbs 
and increasing your blood glucose levels as a result of the juice.